chef Gordon Ramsay dropping some big news this morning. Sean spent some time with the celebrity chef last night and joins us with more on that. What's going on, Sean? Hey, Pat? guys. Good morning. Yes, yeah, celebrity chef Gordon Ramsay is now planning to expand his restaurant empire here in Las Vegas. Last night, while celebrating the seventh anniversary of the newly remodeled Gordon Ramsay steak over at Paris, Las Vegas, I found out that there is a new Ramsay restaurant already in the works for the new year. What's next? Um, you know, there's something exciting potentially for uh, 2020. Um, something um, that we launched in London uh, last year, uh, Lucky Cats, and it's a beautiful uh, insight. So, uh, fingers crossed, we're months away from securing the site. Which is pretty exciting. The culinary empire continues. Like the baby. And when I spoke with you outside of the tunnel. Yes. Seven years ago, 2012, yeah. you said Las Vegas is the toughest culinary city anywhere in the world. Do you still believe it and how have you survived it? Yeah, I mean, you think of the great chefs like Wolfgang, uh, Danielle, John George. Um, yeah, these are uh, you know, American thoroughbreds. So. I follow them, I watch them, I study and I eat in their restaurants um, and Wolfgang's been tremendous because he's sort of, he was the first at it and one of the best living chefs today. So um, I've got more organised uh, and more serious about attention to detail and if you said to me seven years ago I'll be here now with five restaurants and potentially I'm sick next year, I'd never believe you. And that potential sixth Lucky Cat would be Ramsey's first Asian inspired restaurant here in the Valley. And while not official just yet, a new restaurant, as you heard, would be the sixth here in Las Vegas for Gordon. Gordon Ramsey's steak just debuted a new lighter steakhouse menu and a new look inside. And by the way, since Las Vegas has kind of become a second home for Gordon Ramsey with so many restaurants here, he's here all the time. He is in the market for a home here in the Valley.